Hello, and welcome to Minecraft Bleach 100 Days. In this video, you're going to see me fight hollows, unlock my hollow mask, learn Getsu God Tensho, and even attain my very own Bankai. My goal is to get as strong as possible in order to defeat the strongest mob in the game, a captain. These guys are so strong, they can basically two-shot most hollows. I'm going to get crazy powerful in this video, so I hope you enjoy. We're gonna start off picking our faction. This is my first 100 days. I think I'm gonna go with the Shinigami just because I like Soul Reapers. But let me know, what would you guys choose if you were trapped in Minecraft for 100 days? We also have a day counter on the top left. It's a mod added just to make it easier to keep track of the time. So guys, there's a couple of things we're gonna look for on the first 10 days. We are gonna need a lot of sheep actually. This is actually going to be one of our crafts, the Soul Reaper uniform. I had to watch a few tutorials just because although I watched the anime, the mod is a bit confusing to me. So the first weapon should be the Shinai. I don't remember this from the anime, but apparently this is what people start off with. So we're going to need sugarcane and we already have some sticks. But guys, I do think this is going to be an interesting 100 days because it has two of my favorite things, Minecraft and Bleach. I started watching Bleach, I think when I was in middle school and it was actually one of the first animes I watched. I don't know, it just felt like such an interesting anime and I think I finished it in about a week and it was actually really interesting. I really liked it, I think. One of the hypest moments for me was Ichigo versus Aizen when he got the final Mugetsu. Looks like the new season is gonna come out after like 10 years. Let me know, how hyped are you guys about that? Oh, and we actually found a village. I do want to take these books. Here, I think it's better if I get some cobble first. Kind of feels like I'm speedrunning Minecraft. Ooh, yes, we got the blacksmith. All right, what do we have? Also, I just wanted to show you guys, I have the uh, Ichigo skin. He's one of my favorite characters in anime. Speaking of which, they do have a lot of characters. And I think in this anime, they definitely have one of the coolest designs. So it looks like it's getting nighttime. And I think that's when the uh, hollows start spawning. Oh, wait, I have a sword. What am I doing? Yeah, hollow spawn. We're going to be screwed. And I think there's, yeah, there's one over there. Okay, I at least need to get my Shinai before I um, start fighting these guys. Oh, and apparently they have a pretty huge distance for uh, getting aggroed. I'm starting to doubt whether or not sugar can exist in this world. And luckily, while surrounded by mobs, we found some sugar cane. Uh, yep, that guy spotted me. All right, okay. I'm gonna need to make this thing quick. Alright, let's go craft our first weapon. Right, so the recipe should be as follows. We got out. Oh my goodness, dude. That freaked me out. Yo, I don't think I'm strong enough to fight this guy, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. Because you guys are probably curious how strong uh, these hollows are. Ow. Actually, I might be able to use the water to my advantage. Yeah, this guy seems annoying. He might just one-shot me. Yeah, this looks like a good strategy. He does pack a punch. It's almost done. Alright, we got him. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of levels. And looks like we got some ry Ryatsu. That's what they call it in this mod. And these are our stats, so... Pretty sure they go up after we kill more hollows. So, we got our first weapon the shinai i wonder how strong it is all right seven attack damage not too bad i think this is a, a good progress considering it's only been two minecraft days oh my goodness oh look we got a soul reaper it looks like he's fighting a hollow let's go check this out oh double teaming also i think one of the coolest parts of this mod is if you're part of the human class you actually can't see hollows and they're being visible Hopefully they have something good in here. Ooh, a diamond. Nice. It looks like it's already daytime. You know what? I might be able to actually lure this guy to uh, the Soul Reaper here. Yeah, I'm kind of relying on this guy to take on both of them. He does not seem to be doing so good. Maybe I can... Uh... Okay. 
and we got him oh actually i believe these guys can drop their soul reaper uniform they have a chance to so maybe i can get this guy oh he is freaking strong wow if i get hit once i'm dead okay oh yes we got the pants yo this will save us a buttload of time yeah, I believe the rear strength comes from when you actually have the full uniform. So we're going to need the uh, chest plate and the shoes. Uh, let me check really quick. How am I going to make the Zanpak toe? Eight pieces of Ryatsu. 18 more pieces because we got two blocks. So 18 plus 18 plus eight. I'm just going to get a buttload. Looks like we're going to have to mine for some iron. Someone should really make that their alarm clock. It looks like it's getting dark. And that means I'm going to hunt more hollows so I can collect enough Ryatsu to make my Zanbak toe. And oh, we got like a skunk hollow. Whoa, he looks... Oh, okay. Let's go take care of this guy. Alright, we got him. Looks like we're in a 3v1. Shouldn't be a problem. And that lightning is probably foreshadowing. There we go. Let me take care of this bad dude. Alright. Oh, uh, well, you should be slower. Okay, I think I'm dead. I am dead. I am dead. No. No. Go under you can go underwater at the same speed. This is cheats. Axe, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm going for DPS mode. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, yo. They were literally three health away from dying. Okay, that sucks a lot. Looks like I found my stuff again. Thank goodness. All this means is I really do got to gear up and get stronger. Thank you very much. Oh, and we got a little uh, stat point. Let me see if I can get this guy to follow me. Man, it is just so hard being a soul reaper. Oh, perfect. Yes. He's going to fight this guy next. Oh, maybe I can uh, do this. Come on. Oh, no. All right, guys. So it looks like I'm relatively made a comeback. Or oh, I'm relatively at the same spot I was last time. Got some iron, food, got my Shinai back. And this time, I'm just going to try to make regular iron armor to hopefully protect us. I don't know if it's going to work against hollows, but if this doesn't help against creepers, I don't know what will. Also, as you guys can see from my right, it does look like my spiritual pressure is going up. Looks like the more hollows I kill, the stronger I become. So let's see if this uh, method works. Right over here. Yeah, looks like they can't even reach me. Though, I do doubt this is going to work against that freaking bad hollow man. I just think it's too OP, but... What else can you do, you know? Huh, would you look at that? You know, usually I have trouble finding villages, but three in a row. Hopefully that means our luck's starting to turn around. You know, it is getting nighttime, and I think I'll just make my house somewhere here. Maybe this spot, actually. I like the look of it. But before that, we're gonna hunt down some more hollows. Now seems to be the perfect time. I've had enough of these creepers. Okay. Nope. Here we go. You got to be kidding me, yo. You guys saw that, right? Okay. So, this is what I've mined so far. It's not much, but... Man, I'm just looking at, uh... The sun falling. <laughs> the sun falling, yeah. Has a really nice view. So, I think this has a lot of potential. I'm not the best interior designer or exterior designer. I'll probably slay hollows during the nighttime and then work on those during the daytime. I think that'll be the most efficient use of my time. So, yeah.
We are so close, guys, to getting the amount we need. Oh, it's my arch nemesis, the Bat Hollow. I don't want to get near that thing again after what happened last time. Yo, these freaking skeletons. They're, they are the real Quincy's of this mod, okay? Come on. All right. Oh, yes. Yo. We just got a hollow mask. Okay, that is really good. We can finally unlock uh, a Zombacto. And perfect. The sun is rising, so. Oh my goodness, dude. This is why the Quincy's are the enemies of the Soul Reapers. This is the real reason. Yo, what is going on, man? Ah, uh, look at that. Look, isn't that great? Isn't... Oh my goodness. Freaking home intruders. Isn't that great? Beautiful sunrise. But well, what a perfect occasion to make our Zambakto after one week. Finally, we have a Zambakto. Oof, we're getting strong. And we got a snake hollow mask. Okay. But we will have a very, very important use for that later. So I was working on my base and a dog actually happened to walk by it. Um, oh, and first try. He's already tamed. Come on. Also, we did get our Zambak toe. And if we actually shift and right click, you can see here, these are some stat points that we have. On the left hand side, you see different elements. And apparently every hollow we kill will give us points depending on the element. And after we get 400 points next to the sword here, that's when we unlock our Shikai. And that is going to be our goal right after we obtain the Shinigami uniform. Because I really think we're going to need it. Alright, so I think I'm going to hunt for some more hollows and for some Soul Reaper gear. Hopefully one of those Soul Reapers will drop it. Yes, finally, we got the top piece. It's one out of three. Oh, you, they can actually drop a Zambok too. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got the shoes. So my warp just killed a hollow and looks like we actually got a mask. This one we can wear. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to give us. Maybe strength or something? Oh, that was a close one. Oh, man. No! So after many failed attempts of me dying, I figured out I could just craft the pants piece without having any more uh, Soul Reaper casualties. Then all I have to do is... And then there we go. We finally have all of the pieces. Yo, finally, in perfect timing to test out my powers. I hope that was not more for shattering. And let me show you something cool I can do now. I can actually... Plus step. It does use a bit of my power, but let me go show you how much strong I am now. So watch him. He's attacking me, and as you can see on the right, instead of damaging my health, he's actually damaging my spiritual pressure. Oh, whoa. And I just noticed I actually have uh, more health for some reason. Yeah, this flash step is so useful. So I guess it's time to kill more hollows because I do need a bit more in order to unlock my Shikai. Alright, let's see. Can we take on the bat? The ultimate test of strength. It's so time. Yo, this guy is... Dodging and weaving like a boxer. What the heck? We finally got him! Even with a 2v1. So yeah, I am definitely going to be dying much less now. Over the course of a couple days, I also finished up making my strip mine so that I could finally find some diamonds to make myself a set of diamond tools. Yo, we actually found a captain. And he just two-shot that hollow. 
So captains can spawn, but they're actually like ridiculously rare and very OP, as you can see. If you watch how strong this captain is, full health golem, dead in two hits. One of these days will be that strong. And after this, we should be at level 400, which is enough to unlock our Shikai. There we go. We did it. Oh, whoa. Did anyone see that animation? Whoa. <gasps> Yo, we got our Sanpak Joe. What can I do with this? We have to fight. Wow, that's dude. That's a lot of damage, but it also uses a lot of spiritual energy. I wonder what else I can do with it. Looks like our weapon stat went up and our agility, I think. So it actually looks like we got the dark element type for our Zambato. Let's try this again. Press T. And it gives us night vision. Uh, so guys, I think I'm actually going to change my Zambato to Ichigo's type. And the reason being is because the dark element and a lot of these other ones are actually kind of underwhelming so the dark type gives you night vision and the light type gives you invisibility but if you combine the two then you get Ichigo's type and I don't know I just think it'd be a lot more entertaining for you guys if we actually got a Zambak Toe anyways we already killed around 200 hollows and we got the 400 points so we did put in the work I hope you guys don't mind so I just played around with the commands and dude I didn't know this but this is really sick watch guys so I just said it to the lunar type and they added Ichigo's sword. And as you can see, um, my spirit suppressor is being depleted. But watch this. We could even do the Getsuga. And we do like a buttload of damage now. Yo, I got so excited when I found out. I just think it's really cool. After doing some more mining for diamonds and obsidian, I found something really interesting happened to me. So I was looking at my stats and I found out I also actually have 255 points in the Quincy class and I'm thinking maybe it's because it had something to do with trying to get Zangetsu but I just want to let you guys know I thought that was really interesting what the bro this is way too many time to take care of these guys Getsuka Getsu whoa dude I'm like one shotting these guys this guy is like one of the most annoying hollows. Yo, dude, I almost one shot him. And we got a stat point. That was sick. Really quick, I just wanted to say that this video took around 50 hours to record and edit. So if you like videos like this, please consider liking it or even subscribing because it'll really help my channel reach the algorithm. Thank you so much and have a great day. I still can't get over how fun and cool it is that we have Ichigo's Sanpakuto. And that we can actually shoot Getsugan no Tensos. Apparently, we are gonna officially fight the Grand Fisher. Alright, you guys ready? Huh? It's supposed to work. I think if I do this, yep. Alright, there he is, the Grand Fisher. Let's see how much stronger we've gotten. Uh, he's just kind of standing there. I think he's stuck. Uh, that should help him. Alright. Getsuga Tenso! Dude! We killed him in two hits. So you can kind of see how much stronger we are compared to day one where we were dying over everything in the beginning. Yo guys, so check this out. I actually found out if you put the stalker hollow mask, it doesn't show you, but you actually get like a huge power boost. Like watch this. He's at 70 health, right? I just killed him in three hits and I was doing like, I think 25 damage per hit. Which is absolutely insane. Like, this is a huge power boost. As you can see, it is draining my spiritual pressure little by little on the right. I guess I was just regenerating it uh, too quickly. I'm gonna use the mask again. Watch this. Yo, this is just too strong. The best part is it actually uses less spiritual pressure than my Getsuga Tensho. So I was doing around 6 damage I think per hit. This effectively triples it. Even with this power boost, I've yet to gain my true hollow mask which will come soon. In the meantime, I collected a bunch of sugarcane for my enchanting table 
and created some hollow bait in order to attract the Menos Grande. Let's use this hollow bait and see what happens. So let it begin. Sometimes I really just want to train up and fight hollows. What the heck? Yo, a worm hollow? That is my first time seeing that. So we're going to get this guy. Come on. And no match for us. Sometimes I just want to train and fight hollows, but most of the time they only spawn during the nighttime. Like it's quite rare to see them just walking around during the day. But we're just waiting for the Menos Grande to come out. I believe it's the last tick of this. So let's put this on. I wonder if I should use my Getsuga Tenso with it. Oh, there he is. All right, it's time. Let's see how strong this guy is. Yo, dude, look how much damage we're doing. Okay, he is supposed to be one of the like really difficult ones to fight. So th I think there's something wrong here. This guy's supposed to disappear and drop something. Yo, he's this, this guy's supposed to be dead. Oh, he dropped this Ryatsu. We're gonna try this again with the two hollow baits and see if we get the Gargantian po portal. But for the meantime, I think we're gonna move him uh, to the side. He might become our new pet. Yo, so he finally dropped the portal and it took like six hollow baits. Fortunately, they also dropped uh, some masks and I found out something really, really cool. They have Ichigo's Hollow Mask right here, right? So I just need to have nine masks and turn them into mask swords. But if you go here, you can get the full Ichigo Hollow Mask if you combine all the other masks. So I think that's going to be one of our goals in this 100 days challenge. But anyways, I am so glad we finally got the Gargantua portal. And I think for the next 10 days, we're going to go to Waco Mundo and have ourselves a little training arc to see how much stronger we can get. Let's actually take the portal right now. Shift click. Huh? Now, if you're like me, you're probably wondering, what is happening? After doing some more research, I discovered that they disabled Waco Mundo on this version because it was bugged. However, since I did get the portal, I found myself the nearest desert and gave myself unlimited hollow bait to simulate Waco Mundo the best I can. This is where I begun my new training arc. All right, guys, so I managed to actually unlock my hollow mask. Uh, I just had to eat enough mask shards. I currently ate 64 and you see this timer here. This means that I can use my hollow mask for 16 seconds and apparently it goes up uh, the stronger I become. So if I just press my power button, you can see I have a hollow mask on me. I believe it gives me a pretty good speed boost and strength boost. So we're going to use it right now. Yep. It's kind of similar to the Stalker Hollow Mask, except I also get the speed boost.
So now if we do this, we should be able to get the full Vastor Lorde mask. Finally, dude. We actually, um, I have no idea what's going on here. Okay. We got the full Vastor Lorde mask. So I want to see how strong this is. We need to find a good target. All right. So we see a Soul Reaper here and they're pretty strong and pretty tanky. So we're going to test it out on them. Let's put this on resistance two and regeneration. Dude. Oh my goodness, dude. This is OP. We killed him in like three hits. We were doing like 43 damage per strike. This is so much better, except it uses like a huge amount of Ryatsu. So it looks like by day 71, we were able to get the mask and man. This looks so sick. I didn't even try to crit the Soul Reaper, so I might even be able to do a lot more damage. So I think we're going to test it out on this Grand Fisher here. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get a crit on him. Whoa, dude, we did like 65 damage. Unfortunately, it only lasts for like a couple seconds, but we are definitely going to use it for the end game. I think at this point, we actually do more damage than a captain, but of course, we're going to test that out on the final 100th day. So I think right now on day 71, we're actually going to go to the nether in order to collect some blaze rods so that we can beat the game. Only took one try. Bro, we got so lucky. Oh no. Oh my. <laughs> Dude. I almost spoke too soon. The nether fortress just happened to be like around a hundred blocks away. And we have the blaze spawners right here. Okay, hold on. It's not even moving. Oh. And of course. Alright, let's take care of these uh blazes real quick. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, we just one shot them after we put on our hollow mask, so. All right, I think that should be enough. I'm just gonna grab a few more. Um, What, why is there a grand fisher here? Okay, that is really weird. All right, there it is, perfect. So for the time being, I think I'm gonna put the blaze rods here. We've collected six pearls so far, so we're just gonna go for some more Enderman hunting and we should be ready to go to the fortress. All right, now to figure out which direction do we go this way? Oh, looks like it turned. So if I go to these cords right here and match these two fours, Fortress should be down here. Yep. And that is the power of YouTube. Oh, there it is. All right. And this should be enough. Oh. I did the math wrong. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I made 10. Now we have enough. So... Let's just get ready. I'm going to be so triggered if I die. All right, guys. This is what our training has prepared us for. Hopefully not our final meal. Let's go. All right. Not too bad of a spawn, actually. And thankfully, we have our uh, infinity bow. So let's go get these crystals. Finally, we made it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need... Okay, these pearls. Yep. Nope. Wow. This might take a while. Finally. Dragon's a jerk. Uh, I'm going to do this. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> we got this. All right, so, man, can't get a break here. I was pretty sure that with this mod, I would not take any fall damage. Like, watch this. See? Goes straight to my spiritual pressure. 
Yeah, we're gonna end this dragon. Wow, this is actually a lot easier. We're gonna end. And I spoke too soon. He does not want me to get up this tower. This is literally the worst dragon I've ever fought. Uh, is that the last one? I think that's the last one. Nope, one more. Alright. This guy has caused me emotional damage. Just let me get in there, man. Oh, wow. Let's see what the Vassalorde mask. Um, yeah, dude, that is a huge amount of damage. What the heck? Bro. Let's try. Yep. All the mask on. I think it's only fitting that we finish the dragon off with our special move. Getsuga. Tenso! We did it. We beat the dragon with Sangetsu. Oh my goodness, yo. Never thought I could do that in Minecraft. Anyways. And looks like we found our home. All right. Oh, man. Creeper. Please don't. Okay. I'm glad I was able to make it back to my dog safely. Bro. I need to start practicing killing the dragon more. Since we made it to day 80, I'm going to actually spend the next 20 or so days to start training more. These are my stats so far. You can see I can wear my mask for 18 seconds. But yeah, I'm part Shinigami, Quincy, and Hollow. I also uh, constructed this little Hollow Bait area. I'm gonna be activating all of this and train. Our goal is basically to unlock Bankai and to get as strong as possible. This is gonna be insane. Time for our second training arc. Nope, 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 nope. All right, let the chaos begin. Yo, it is raining hollows. And I am not feeling so well. Let's see if we can uh, get to our trap. Hello everyone, welcome back again. It is day 98 and we've actually managed to unlock our Bankai. I had to kind of play around with the settings. You see, if I hold shift and check the stats of my Shikai, you can see that some of these numbers changed. I actually had to kind of reset and give myself Bankai manually because I kept killing hundreds and hundreds of Hollows. And you can see here, like this number on the right stays the same. It's basically saying I've killed over 3,000 Hollows. And that 
took a lot of time. So while I was killing hollows on the left, you're supposed to see the stats go up depending on which hollow you've killed. But it was just stuck at 605 for some reason. So I thought it was fair that even though I was killing like a thousand more hollows or so more than necessary, that I at least could give myself Bonkai because I was going to unlock it anyway. We're going to actually test out Bonkai on the next hollow that comes up here. Oh, there they are. All right. So if I press T, that gives me my Shikai. But if I press T again, we have Bonkai. And it actually gives me a speed boost, uh, more damage, and more uh, Reishi. So let me actually show you the damage difference uh, with and without Bonkai. So a holo conveniently popped up here to actually, we're going to test out uh, the damage difference between our Shikai and Bonkai. So, oops, that's our holo mask. This is our Shikai. 19 damage or 12 regular hit. If we do Bankai, um, 40. Wow. Okay. That is actually huge. And I thought I saw another hollow over here. So yeah, look how fast we are. 40 damage. And we can actually combine that with our hollow mask. So let's wait for another hollow to spawn. We're going to use our hollow mask and Bankai. And we just one shot it. I don't even know how much damage we were supposed to do there. But in case you guys were curious on exactly how strong we are, we are going to fight multiple captains on day 100 with our Vastal Lorde Holo Mask to see just how strong we get. Because with the Vastal Lorde Holo Mask, my damage is even crazier. So yeah, I'm just going to kill some more Holos, get my stats up, hopefully get my Holo stat to 200. And we'll begin our power scaling test. I also found out with the scorpion mask, I do way more damage than uh, the previous one. To the point where I literally kind of just like one shot everything. It is like two times better apparently than the stalker holo mask I used to use. And apparently it also does the same amount of damage as the Vassalorde Ichigo mask. The only difference is that... It doesn't give the resistance and speed boost, but yeah, it's pretty OP. I'm just spending the last day easily defeating all of the hollows I used to have trouble with. Like, I remember this bat hollow killed me on the first day and I one shot it. All right, guys, it is officially day 100. As you can see in the top left, we have spent 100 days in the Bleach mod and these are our stats after our whole training arc. So we can actually wear the mask for 33 seconds. We definitely got a lot stronger compared to our previous stats. I'm also basically half Shinigami, 1 4th Quincy, and 1 4th Hollow. So yeah, we got a mask to 33 seconds. Doesn't seem like a long time, but when you're fighting, it kind of feels like time slows down. Um, this guy's good. Now that we've reached 100 days, we're actually gonna fight the captains. I'm gonna go set that up right now. Also, I forgot to mention, we also killed around 3,500-ish hollows. So, yeah. I think that's a pretty big accomplishment. But we gave ourselves some Shinigami spawn eggs, because they first wanted to see how much stronger are we compared to the average Shinigami. I remember we almost died to them a couple of times when we were trying to steal their clothes. We got a Shinigami here. Oh! And he happened to be a captain. Okay, so... Wow. Okay, how about here? Alright, we got a regular one. We're gonna fight this captain later. He kind of looks like Aizen. And if he is, we're kind of screwed. But we're gonna take care of this Shinigami. So let's fight um, the Shinigami with our holo mask. And we kill him in three hits. Okay. Uh, we're gonna actually try that now with the, uh, Vassalorde mask. So, we got another Shinigami here. So I have to be quick. Alright, and we two-shot him. And as you can see, I lost a huge amount of spiritual pressure. Alright, we got, uh, Ikaku over here. Now we're gonna fight him with our Shikai. Go, over here. So not that much damage actually i did miss a few hits let's try get scott tenso uh, um 
Okay, that's a lot of damage. Let's try that one more time. I am kind of curious just to see how much damage Getsuga Tenso does. Let's see, Getsuga Tenso! And that looks sick. So, 62 damage. We can just finish him off like that. Uh, so I guess we can start finding the captain. We're gonna keep our inventory on just to make this simple. So first we're just gonna find him regularly with our regular Shikai. No boosts, no power-ups, no holo mask. Just to see how strong uh, this guy is. So, doing about like... How much damage does he do to me? Uh, okay. Oh man, that is actually a lot of damage. But, uh, I think we... We should be able to defeat him over here. If he gets more hits on me, he might actually just kill me. Okay, because of how the AI is, wasn't like super challenging. But he definitely did a huge amount of damage. Almost completely wiped out my spiritual pressure. But that test just proves that we are basically captain level without any of our power boosts. Now that we have all of our spiritual pressure back, let's try getting another captain here. Oh, there we go. We got the captain. Uh, So this time we're actually going to fight the captain with our uh, holo mask on. Our regular one that we can uh, summon on command. So let me just bring him here. All right, time to use our holo mask. And we actually uh, change the skin to get Ichigo's. So let's see. Not really fighting back. And I'm missing. <laughs> Alright. And we got his shoes. We beat him with around, I'd guess, 15 seconds of our holo mask. But now we're going to use the, the Vassalore. Alright, Vassalore form. I got to do this quick. Hopefully, uh... And we three shot him. Okay, and it also used all of our spiritual pressure. We've been getting kind of lucky. This guy looks cool. So we three shot captains with our holo mask. Now we're gonna actually use our uh, Ashikai. Oh, wow, 33. Wait, that, that's a holo mask. Whoa, what just happened? Whoa, okay, you can block with your sword. It is, it took a hundred days for me to learn that I can actually block things with my sword. But let's see, can I block with Sun Gets? Nope, because I'm gonna do this uh looks like we already ran out of our um oh my goodness yo yo, yo. oh <laughs> did you see that he almost one shot me this guy too OP. And we also got a captain's cloak. We're not wearing that because we're Ichigo, but... Yeah, the only reason why I'm not dead is because I have a lot of spiritual pressure. We're basically gonna fight this captain with a bonkai. Uh, let's go. With a bonkai, we are... Yeah, we were just way too fast for him. Kind of like the Ichigo versus the Akiva fight. One thing to note is with the Bonkai, it's kind of like in its early stages, the developers literally just added it to this version. That's the reason my sword kind of stays the same. But oh my goodness, they are just swarming that bat hollow. In the future, they're probably going to add more effects and make it like a real actual Bonkai. So now with this captain, we're going to fight him with both our Bonkai and our holo mask. And then last, we're going to... Combine all of our power boosts together. And our Visit Hollow Mask. Uh, there we go. 40. Wow, 70 damage? 104 damage. Okay. Dude, that was huge. We've got our final captain. And we are going to use all of our power boosts together. Bonkai, Visit Hollow Mask. And see how much stronger are we than these captains. I think it's time, guys. First, we're going to use our Bonkai. And then the, the Vastalorde Hollow Mask. Because that uses the most spiritual pressure. Bonkai. 126 damage. Okay, we literally two-shot captains now. I'm curious, do I do more damage with my uh, holo mask with the uh, Getsuga Tenso?
Yeah, we're gonna try that fight one more time just to double confirm uh, how much stronger we are. But we were doing around like 126 damage with our crits. I believe that's enough to kill a player 12 times over. All right, and we got another captain already. We gotta be quick about this because our max powers are only gonna last like a couple seconds. Let's go. All right. Yeah, that took a couple hits because I didn't crit, but we're basically unstoppable now. This was 100 days in Minecraft Bleach. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like I mentioned, this took a lot of time to make. If you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing so you can get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.